students so welcome to the channel pharma for you so students if you are watching the video on our channel first time so please subscribe and hit the bell icon for getting more updates on our upcoming videos so in this video we are going to cover some questions with their brief explanation which is very important for your gpat exam so here we have a first question is ir spectra appear as dips in the curve rather than maxima as in uv visible spectra because it is a plot of option options is option a is percentage absorbance against wave number option b is percentage transmittance against concentration option c is percentage absorbance against concentration option d is percentage transmittance against wave number means in ir spectra uh, we just plot the graph between two substances so what's that so the correct answer is that we just plot ir spectra between percentage transmittance against wave number so let's discuss with the help of explanation as we see in this graph that it's a ir spectrum which shows that uh, on y axis there is a percentage transmittance and in x axis there is a wave number so ir spectrum is a plot of transmittance against wave number so students various times the question may also ask that if the ir spectrum is a plot between percentage transmittance and wave number so what is for uv spectrum so uv spectrum is a graph between absorbance and wavelength on y axis there is a absorbance and on x axis there is a wavelength and coming on the mass spectrum case there is a graph between the relative abundance and m by z ratio relative abundance on y axis where m by z ratio on x axis so students try to note down these three points that ir spectrum uv spectrum and mass spectrum because sometimes the question may also ask from these points also next question is that new joel is and the options are option a is hexachlorobutadiene option b is mineral oil option c is perfluorokerosene option d is fluorolue so neujol is neujol is a mineral oil so let's discuss some uh, more detailed information with the help of explanation that neujol is a mineral oil used in ir spectroscopy and it is a heavy paraffin oil so it is a chemically inert where it is actually it is combined with the sample in a mortar or pestle or sandwiched between potassium or sodium chloride plates before placing in spectrometer so what's the work uh, what is the responsibility of neujol that it can provide protective coating and prevent sample decomposition so students that neujol is a mineral oil used in ir spectroscopy and it is combined with the sample and it can provide protective coating where hexachlorobutadiene perfluorokerosene and ana fluoro and fluorolubes are other mulling agents used to handle samples in ir spectroscopy as mulls that neujol is a mineral oil and these are also as mulling agents so moving on the next question that tesla is a unit ex, uh, used to express and the options are option a is frequency option b is pressure option c is voltage or option d is magnetic field strength so tesla is a unit used to express which of these and the correct answer is magnetic field strength tesla is a unit used to express magnetic 
field strength so let's discuss with the help of explanation that tesla is a unit used to express magnetic field where hertz is a unit to uh, used to express frequency and pascal is a unit used to express pressure and volt is is a unit used to express voltage so this is all about this question moving on the next question that the number of peaks given by the 1 hnmr spectrum of 2 methyl 1 pentene is and the options are option a is 4 option b is 5 option c is 6 or option d is 3 so number we have to tell about the number of peaks Uh, by the 1 h nmr of 2 methyl 1 pentene so what's the procedure to solve this question students first of all you have to draw the chemical structure of 2 methyl 1 pentene then after that you have to just count the number of peaks so according to this according to the solution the number of peaks n is 5 so the correct answer is b moving on the next question Here we have just a simple explanation that two methyl one pentene has five magnetically non-equivalent hydrogens. So moving on the next question, a solvent used in NMR studies is, and the options are option A is chloroform, option B is acetone, option C is carbon tetrachloride, or option D is methanol. So a solvent used in NMR studies is. and the correct answer is which solvent is used in nmr studies friends so the correct answer is carbon tetrachloride is a is solvent used in nmr studies so here we have just a simple explanation that carbon tetrachloride or ccl4 is a solvent used in nmr and other solvents used is cdcl3 or deuterated chloroform these are these two also are used as solvent in nmr and what is the full form of nmr is nuclear magnetic resonance as you all know and the next question is choose the correct source of radiation for nmr from the listed one and the options are option a is klystron oscillator option b is glober source option c is radio frequency oscillator option d is deuterium lamp so which of the correct source of radiation of for nmr and the correct answer or correct source of radiation of nmr is radio frequency oscillator radio frequency oscillator is used as a source of radiation in mn nuclear magnetic resonance here we have a just detailed description of this that the source of radiation of for nmr is radio frequency oscillator where the global source is for ir radiation means global source is used as a source of radiation in nmr ir radiations and deuterium discharge lamp is a source of for uv visible light and the deuterium or hydrogen holo cathode lamp is a source for flame emission and atomic abs atomic absorption spectro uh, spectrometry where klystron oscillator is used as a source for radiation in electron spin resonance spectroscopy in region of microwave x band wavelength of 3 cm so students please write down these short points because sometimes uh, question may also ask from uh, ask directly or from uh, the ir or nmr or uv also so it is not assuring we are not assuring that this is this question will co come 100% surely but there is a chance to come so please uh, try to note down these solutions and get revise on time so next question is chemical shift is expressed in one of the following units so we have to tell about the unit of chemical shift and the options are option a is centimeter inverse option b is amperes option c is parts per million or option d is mm per ml so what is the unit of chemical shift so the correct answer is the parts per million the unit of chemical shift is parts per million so here we have just detail some uh, description on this that chemical shift 
is the difference in the absorption position of a particular proton from the absorption position of reference proton. So this shift which arises due to the density of circulating electrons and the unit of chemical shift is a parts per million. So I hope students you will just get the answers with the proper assurance. So next question is a reference compound widely used in NMR spectroscopy for proton spectra in known aqueous medium and the options are option A is silane, option B is tetramethyl silane, option C is DPPH, option D is peroxyl amine disulfonate. So we have to tell about the reference compound widely used in NMR. So what is actually reference compound? Reference compound is that that which will not give a single peak or which will not give a peak of its uh, of, uh, of its own. So what is the reference compound? The reference compound used in NMR is tetramethyl silane. Here we have just explanation on this that widely used reference compound in NMR spectroscopy for HNMR in non aqueous medium is TMS or tetramethyl silane and in aqueous medium reference compound is DSS sodium 2 to dimethyl 2 sila pentane 5 sulfonate so students just note down the reference compound is tetramethyl silane used in NMR Moving on the second last question of this video that wavelength source in NMR spectrometer is and the options are goniometer, option B is radio frequency oscillator, option C is high voltage generator and option D is klystron oscillator. So the wavelength source we have to tell about the wavelength source in NMR spectrometer. So the wavelength is sources radio frequency oscillator. So students try to note down uh, these also that uh, what are the source of NMR, UV, IR because uh, and, uh, and, uh, from the analysis portion we have just uh, arise from these uh, questions from the instrumentation parts. So next and last question of this video is confirmation of drugs are commonly determined by which method? On, uh, option A is NMR, option B is NMI, option C is mass spectrometry, option D is pH determination. So from which of this method uh, there is a confirmation of drugs takes place. So the correct answer is NMR. NMR is helping for the confirmation of drug. So students I hope just you like the video. So please subscribe and hit the bell icon for getting more updates on our upcoming new videos as we all as we are coming with uh, the analysis microbiology and pharmaceutical uh, uh, lectures. So please subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.